minus 2, 3 is to 4 is the modified ratio from the Mendelian ratio that we get. Now, what is polygenic inheritance? The polygenic inheritance means some phenotypes are determined by the additive effect of two or more genes. Now, people may ask, what is the difference between multiple allele and polygenic inheritance? You know, in multiple allele, what we get is that multiple alleles are controlling a particular phenotypic character, as we've seen in case of blood type. But for polygenic inheritance, there are multiple genes, that there means multiple alleles are involved, but the effect will be additive of one another which is not in such a way additive for multiple alleles but for polygenic inheritance the effect is determined by the additive effects of two or more genes in a single character so that's it for example if you look at the skin color of human being actually most of the character that we see for human being are much more complicated they are governed by this polygenic and multiple allele type characteristics now in this case what we know is that skin color is consisting of suppose three different genes so six different types of alleles are there and if they interact with themselves what we get is different varieties and actually we get uh, seven different varieties as you can see here and among the seven different varieties one variety is giving us very very fair skin one variety is giving us very dark skin so most fair and more darkest right so two different type of skin tone and then rest of the skin tones are the intermediary type so so most fair then slight fair then fair then moderately fair then slightly dark then moderately dark then the darkest so this is the range of how we get now if we look at here carefully if we cross it if we make the Punnett square of it what we'll get is that among the 64 offsprings and among the 64 different uh, zygotes that generates among them 20 out of 64 is the moderate skin tone that's the most common type of uh, character that we, are, that we are going to see in the population now that character is due to the presence of all heterozygous characteristics that is between the AA which is capital A small a capital B small B and capital C small C that means all the alleles all the genes that are present are, uh, are present here as a heterozygous nature and if they present as a heterozygous nature they will give the moderate skin tone and if we cross them we get maximum as their parental moderate skin tone type and we get least amount of this say 1 out of 64 for both the fair most and the dark most right so this is how this process work and if we, if we place them in, in this uh, you know in this graph where we are having the a fraction of population in the y-axis and the different characteristics in the x-axis will find a bell-shaped curve and this bell-shaped curve will tell us the important scenario of polygenic inheritance right so phenotype is a continuum as you can see the examples are skin color height weight intelligence and behavior and all of these things are controlled by this polygenic inheritance among human species now here we can see the examples of polygene another example that is the example of eye color now there are genes for three important thing one is the tone of the pigment that means what color it is second thing is the amount of the pigment it means what amount that pigment will present and third one is the position of the pigment that is uh, the people's eyes there are many different patterns in the iris so what will be the position of the pigment so based on these three different continuum we get uh, the different genes to control that so multi genes are controlling how our eye will look like exactly so if you look at here you can see beautiful illustration of different types of eye and eye color Now here you can see that in the different types of eye color you can see many varieties and these varieties are not controlled by any one they are controlled by many different types of uh, genes as you can see here at, at least three different genes that we've talked about Right, so these are the examples of polygenic inheritance.